2004 crashed the Sebring. Complaint of this car is that uh, windshield wipers doesn't work. They just quit working. This car has only a you know, front windshield wipers, doesn't have rear. Looking at the diagram, it's a little overwhelming to be honest. Uh, we have uh, two relays here. One is for the uh, intermittent, uh, uh, intermittent uh, white windshield wipers. One is for uh, kind of like low speed and high speed. We have a body control module. Of course, we have a switch and two fuses. Uh, fuse number 15 in the uh, little fuse box in, next to the on the left uh, left side le left kick panel, and then uh, that's that's a 10 amp fuse, and then a 40 amp fuse. It's in a uh, in a engine compartment fuse box, and then of course we have the motor. We can see the motor has the ground on the black wire. The ground is G103 next to the uh, the front strut, front uh, left strut. To make it a little bit less complicated, what I want to do first, uh, I'm going to start at the relay. That's the best place to start because you can tap into the circuit without damaging anything, of course. And also we can verify if we have a control side issue or we have a issue on the load side. And um, simply by looking at this relay here, you know, we're going to have a uh, answer if we have a problem with the switch or, you know, the module by simply observing this control side of the relay we're going to put a uh, voltmeter and measure the voltage when we turn the switch on then we're going to look at the con uh, load side and see if you're getting the power now this way you don't ha have to go actually looking for the fuses we can actually check the fuses right here at the relay that's the beauty of the you know circuits that have a relay in now the uh, in order now I'm going to turn the, my switch to high so that's going to be give me a constant power and uh, in order to get a power to a um, uh, to to high side, uh, so to speak, we're gonna have actually go over to this side. We're gonna this relay has to close as well to give the power. So it kind of goes like uh, let's see uh, when this relay closed. So we're gonna go here. It's gonna switch is gonna close, and we're gonna go to this dark and this wire, and then this switch because this one now. The low side is actually goes to ground, so this has to close as well to give a power through this relay to the to, from low side to high side relay, and then it go, goes to this um, 40 amp fuse. So first we're going to do we're going to simply get the um, put the adapter on a um, this relay here on high speed. I'm going to call this high speed, and um, then we will uh, we'll go from there. This is the uh, high speed. This is an intermittent low speed. I got my adapter here on the on the red and black. That's my control side. I'm just going to put the uh, my voltmeter across. To looking for the uh, control. We're looking for the 12 volts when I turn the switch on. On these two wires, this will get power only when this is this really is closed. We already seen that on the on the on our diagram. So let's go ahead and uh, set everything up, and then we're gonna we're gonna check our um, our circuits. First thing we're going to do, is say we're going to take the voltmeter and put it across the uh, control side of the relay. And I'm just looking for the voltage. We should have a battery voltage when we turn the uh, key to, I mean, to, to our, our switch to on position. As I said, I'm just going to use high speed. The reason is, it's going to give me a constant voltage. I don't have to wait for, you know, relay to kick in and all that stuff. So let's go. I have to turn the key to on position. Fuse, 40 amp fuse is hot all the time. The one of the load side, the control side uh, fuse is only hot with the key on. I turn the key on. I actually already had my. So let's. Uh, my switch was on. So let's go ahead and turn the turn the switch to on position, and we should have 12 volts. Now I know that this relay is, is working the way it should. Now I need to verify if this relay is working. Now if this relay is working, I'm going to get the power to, to this side, on the, on, the, on the load side of this, because this, this, this relay is going to provide power for the load side of the high, for the, for the high speed relay. I hope I'm not confusing everybody here. Take the test light, I'm going to put a battery ground verify the test light lights and let's see if I have power I have power here and the power goes through the uh, through the relay and I it 
it has a power. Let's go ahead and turn the switch on and off just to see that. Switch off, switch on, switch off, switch on. Okay. By this quick test, I verify that both of my fuses are okay, that the uh, low side relay works as well because if this relay doesn't work, it would not provide a power to the, for the high speed relay. I don't have to go to this relay at all. I can. Let's do that real quick, but it's not necessary. Let's just uh, pull these, swap these relays real quick. Now you can see I have 12 volts. That's my control side. Let's go ahead and turn the switch on and off again. On, off, on, off, on. All right. The next step will be to. I'm going to go back to my high side relay again. Or high speed. Now, okay. as you can see now, we have a power on both sides because relay is closing and you know we are providing the power to a low side of the relay. I'm going to turn the switch off and now, <clears throat> sorry. Switch is off, and uh, we are not going to have anything actually anymore on this uh, on this relay. Now I'm going to take the relay out, and on this load side of the relay, I should have a ground. I'm not sure which one it is yet, but there's supposed to be ground provided. It would the ground would go through a you know ground point on the body through a windshield wiper motors all the way up to here all right so let's go ahead and uh, take a, a test light we're going to connect test light to battery positive and I'm looking for the ground check the check my test light okay I'll check this leg Got nothing let's check this leg nothing okay so let's just go ahead and uh, real quick turn the switch back on and then we actually find out which one is actually power? And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the relay out. The switch is on, as we can see here. And now let's take the test light, connect to the battery ground, and now one of these should have power here, and this should not have anything at all. Okay. So the reason now this one doesn't have a power because you don't have a relay in. Now this is my ground path. This is the this is the side of the of the leg that actually, you know, goes to the um, uh, my uh, windshield wiper motor, and I should have a ground, but I don't. All right, let's go here. There should be a ground right now. This, you know, the this motor has a the resistance is less. The same thing with the, with the fuel pump in any other motor. We should be able to see the ground. Now, what is the next step? We need to get to the motor now. With this quick test, it gave us a quick funnel. In what direction we need to go? Do we have a input issues, or do we have a issues with the load? On our, or our our motor, and uh, so next step will be to a uh, connect the uh, our. We're gonna actually look for the power. On um, let's check the wire. It will be a red and yellow wire. This red and yellow wire should have a power when we put this relay back in. Okay. So red and yellow, you can see it here, I think, and uh, you see red and white, I think it's that's the red and white, most likely. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to put the uh, relay back in to provide the power to my my motor and I'm going to try to back probe it. It's kind of hidden back in there. Let's see if I can get to it. I'm going to use my long probe. It's a very, very useful tool. And I'm on, I believe on red and yellow right now. It's kind of red and white, but I think it just faded. Okay, so I'm going to use my voltmeter. Get a disconnected voltmeter from here. And I'm going to take the black lead. I'm going to connect it now to ground and I'm just looking for a voltage Uh, 8.8 .8 volts. That is interesting. 8.8 .8 volts. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, check the power here. We have 12.4 volts. Let's check power here. 12.4 volts. So I don't have a voltage drop on the on a on my uh, on my uh, relay. So I am providing, you know. Unless let's just make sure that I have a good connection. That is weird. I see some water intrusion there. Okay, I was not connected all the way, so I have a power 12.4 volts. Okay, that's good. So I can actually get my lead to negative. And usually you don't have voltage drop because circuit is open anyway. Nothing works. The next step is get to a black wire, which is my which is my ground. But this why you have to kind of check yourself to make sure you have a good connection. This I could now going crazy looking for the voltage drop at 8.8 .8 volts. I mean, look, look, using losing like five volts somewhere. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Switch this to black wire. And I have a 300 millivolts, and uh, that's good. I, mean, I don't have excessive voltage drop. 300 is a little bit, uh, I and mean, that should not cause this motor not to run at all. And uh, so, let's see now I have three volts. Let's just go ahead and load it up this circuit again. 3.6 volts. Again, I'm not sure if I'm getting good connection. Let's see now. And I have a complete open circuit here now. Let's see, and I'm, this is really difficult. It's very hard to, very hard to get to the. Uh, Correct wire. Have to every time you find a problem or you think you found a problem, you have to make sure that you are on good with the correct wire. Spread these wires apart a little bit. easily connect my, I can pierce the wrong wire easily here. Let's see now, 4.3 volts. That's interesting. Okay, now I'm in. And I guess I'm not 
It's kind of weird because something's goofy going on here. 4.7, 4.6, seems like I do have a, some kind of voltage drop somewhere. Alright, so... Okay, let's take the, uh, this wire, this is now connected to my, uh, to my uh, ground on that motor. I'm gonna get my test light to battery positive and just to touch it, and uh, nothing. Okay. Okay, seems like we have some kind of issue here. Okay. All right. So on my next step will be I need to I need to get this removed and uh, get a better access to my wiring because. Uh, this this is not right. I, mean, I might have a voltage or might not. Maybe I'm I'm just not getting good connection. Uh, unfortunately, I was able to take this part off, but this one is going through the windshield wipers, so I need to take the windshield wipers off and uh, continue this uh, process. But we are in the <clears throat> we are in the right path. You know, our problem is no longer here. We know we don't have a voltage drop across the uh, relay. Our our problem is the motor or maybe the ground that's provided for the motor. We'll find out soon. Okay, I only removed the left uh, windshield wipers. Not that easy anyway, so I don't want to remove the one on the right side if I don't have to, but I got much better access now to my, uh, to my connector. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see. All right. I got the key on and the switch is on. Let's see. What's going on here? Okay. My old meter never better. Okay. And uh Two and a half point two point three volts. Something is definitely going on. In this. Now I have a complete opening. I am on the ground wire. There's no question. I am on the ground wire. All right. The next, I need to take. I'm gonna remove this uh, connector now. Yeah, I'm on the ground wire. I have straight open. Okay. I mean, at this point, we should have, you know, maybe 100 millivolts if you have a, you know, so this is completely open circuit. And, uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a test light, connect the test light to battery positive and just check that. But again, voltmeter is enough to make a call that we do have a problem on the ground side of the circuit. Because the circuit is loaded, you know, switch is on. The um, motor is getting power, but it's not. We are. See here. Got this one probably positive. Lights up. So now I'm just going to take this. Uh, I'm still on that ground wire. Now I'm just going to load it up the wire anyway. Load up this circuit. Uh, nothing. This is the ground. I mean, there's no. Okay. I got nothing here. Just not getting. Okay. No, that's that's okay. Let's go ahead and take the disconnected motor. If I can. If not, I may have to remove the other windshield up and just to, so I don't have to struggle. But they're getting close. We'll figure out what's going on. I'm actually glad that it's, that I'm hoping it's, you know, I'm glad it's not the motor issue because it's not even available. I can't even get the motor unless I 
have to get one on mine. And uh, this is really cramped. Let's see. Mm. It's really difficult. There's a red locking tab. I got that. I got that moved. But okay, it's better. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn off the. I don't want to drain the battery. I'm gonna turn off the switch and all that. Turn off the. Right. Struggle a little bit to get this. I got it. I used my rod angle pick, got from the front side of the relay of the connector. Pull it up and then push it out. All right, let's see now that's what we got here. Well, this side of the connector looks looks pretty decent. That looks fine too. Okay, now let's go ahead and get a good. I'm gonna take the test uh, light bulb and the load my. Uh, ground side here and so now I have a good access to it Get the light bulb try again connect to my ground wire connect the other lead to my power nothing Got no ground at all. Hey, okay. let's wiggle this harness. Let's see, if, let's just check it actually, make sure I'm good. Okay, the bulb is fine. This is the ground, it's got to be the ground, the black wire. There's no ground. Let's just check that one more time. Now, I'm going to take the harness, I'm just going to wiggle the harness a little bit. Nothing here. It's actually the ground point, it's not too far from the... Uh, here but nothing okay Go ahead and uh, take a pin and back probe the other side of this connector. Checking if it's maybe open inside the connector. I don't think it is, but I'm just way too deep. I can. Uh, there you go. All right, nothing. I can feel the metal piece. You know, you know female connector. I got nothing on my Tesla on my on my light bulb. Okay. Uh, let's 
go ahead and put that on to this. So here's the, uh, the post where it's pretty rusted out, but it does have a, an eyelet looks okay. There's the eyelet. That's a rusty bolt, that's the ground. But there are multiple grounds coming into it, I'm not sure, you know, there are multiple black wires. I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and uh, put it back together and see if we make any progress or not. And now, here's the bolt, it's pretty rusted all the way around. And that place where the, that's rusted as well. But now I have my ohmmeter in series with that, I, you know, ground wires I just have it on the eyelet and uh, I'm on my ground wire on the connector and I got an open loop so something's not right okay I guess maybe the wire is I mean that 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 ground point needs to be fixed it's pretty rusty but something doesn't make sense because now I should have at least you know continuity on this wire I have nothing here's another tool that I'm sure not many of you guys have ever seen it this little probe here this is used for um, electrocautery in um, during a laparoscopic procedures and I'm a scrub tech so these instruments uh, develops these cracks you can see here and they can no longer, they, they're not serviceable, they cannot be reused anymore, they cannot be fixed and uh, they just end up in the landfill. So I got a couple of these and the nice thing about it, it has this hook here, it could be a, like a hook, it can be, this is what they call a right angle. I can use this for a, uh, like if I'm testing the alternator or, 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 or the starter, I can um, connect my test lead to, a, to this end here, it provides me a, uh, it's actually pretty good in a medical grade instrument and I can I can check the voltages and stuff now something else is very useful I can like I, this is the, the black wire right now I can actually get to it I can grab the wire I can tag on it uh, and uh, just to see if it's gonna break something else is actually really nice I can I can open up the harness with it I can kind of slowly hook behind it and I can see I can I can tear the uh, insulation I want to see you know where this this black wire should go you know into this into this bundle here so I'm gonna get all this open and uh, you're gonna find it I mean it we have to find it it has to be you know has to be somewhere so and uh, there's just another kind of interesting tool that I have so okay okay I did find the wire it's this one here it does go you know from uh, this harness kind of wraps around and uh, around this plastic thing whatever this plastic plastic bracket and then it, it goes to this eyelet. I got pierced here and I got over to my ground on the connector and I now have a continuity. Let's go ahead and uh, do a uh, load test now. I'm gonna let's see let's go ahead and uh, connect this thing to ground. I'm gonna take this lead that's now connected to my ground wire. I'm going to provide the ground here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, take the uh, light bulb and I connect the light bulb to power. Lights up. Now we're going to test this part of the harness. See if it works. Okay. Nice and bright. Now our problem is in the eyelet itself, and uh, now I can also connect this across this. Let's see. I'm not sure since I got this ground removed if it's going to work or not. Okay, so the. Uh, I guess the switch is still on. 
Yeah, all right. I'll have to switch on. So the switch is on. And we can see I am getting now power to my uh, connector. I'm going to turn the switch off. Switch on. Switch off. Okay. Technically, we can uh, put that together and then uh, provide the ground and uh, actually leave it as it is and see uh, you know if the motor is going to work or not. All right. Connect this back. It's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and. this should work now you know this motor should have a ground full ground it should work now until I get the ground fixed let's go ahead and turn the key on and let's take a look at it question is what should I do should I I'm a little afraid to completely disassemble this eyelet because there's a lot of wires in it and I'm sure some of them, some other one has a corrosion but I start tearing this whole thing apart I don't, I don't have, I will have to put multiple grounds, which is okay, but I just don't have enough room to work. <sighs> All right, well, at least we have found the problem, and now it's just a matter of uh, get this ground fixed. <laughs> 